It's going to be a pretty quick video today. Uh, got a little project. I've got my little mini lathe here, which is what I've, I've been doing all my turning with because I don't have a bigger one and uh, I'm looking. I'm looking for a better lathe. But uh, what the problem is, is I got a little, I need a little upgrade on this lathe. Uh, out here on the outboard side of the headstock, there's there's no handle. If you buy, if you look at pretty much any other lathe on the market, there's a little wheel out here that you can use to to spin the spin the chuck. And this little lathe doesn't have it. Uh, all it has is this little plastic cover on that. And I, I'm going to fix that problem today. I'm going to, you know what? I got a I got a lathe. I got wood. I'm going to turn myself a little round wheel to mount on the end of this. So uh, without any more. Uh, Without any more chatter, let's uh, go ahead and relocate the camera and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Alright, so you can see here on this on this lathe, it's just got a little plastic cover on here and I've I've kind of already taken the taken the liberty to to pull a couple of screws out. And uh, so if we take out this final screw, remove this stupid little plastic cover. Now that you, you see in here. You see what we've got is we've got the the threaded shaft and there's actually there was another nut down here they used two nuts as kind of a locking nut system to keep this keep the the pulley on here with the belt inside uh, captive so what I'm doing is I'm gonna take this nut off I'm gonna turn a turn a wheel to go over this nut uh, just with a reasonably thick amount of, of wood on it to make it safe and then I'm going to put this nut back on. I would considered taking this nut off as well and just putting the wheel on and snugging it down. But I thought, you know what, I better leave that one there just, just for safety's sake. They've, got it, they've obviously got it there for a reason. So I'm just going to turn the wheel uh, about half the thread thickness here. And then I'm going to put this nut back, put this nut back on it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this nut back on while I'm turning the wheel to put on this nut and uh, and lock it back down but what I do need to do is I need to find out how big a diameter that bolt is and I, I do believe it's a three-quarter inch how big that shaft is and yes it's three-quarter little little under three-quarters of an inch so shouldn't be a problem to uh, to make this work so uh, I'm going to relocate the camera so we can we can get to turning this uh, this quick little handle, and uh, I'll have an I'll have an external wheel now to uh, to grab on to uh, grab onto everything, and and then I can get rid of that little plastic cover. So let's relocate the camera here. All right, so what I'm doing here, uh, I had a little leftover piece of cedar from a former project. Uh, this piece of cedar started off life as a as a four by four uh, fence post, uh, which later got repurposed into a cedar lidded box, and now it's going to get repurposed further into a into a hand wheel for my lathe. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm basically just measuring out approximately where I want the wheel to uh, how far I want the wheel to stick out from the end of the tail stock so just I think it was about uh, inch and three quarters or so I measured off so I'm taking my diamond parting tool and I'm just uh, wasting away some of the some of the material here uh, get rid of that excess I don't need all that no need all that material there started to chatter here a little bit so uh, I was getting a little long on the chisel so I uh, decided I was going to use the saw to, to finish this off it was just it was just a little too long with that chisel to do a one-handed with a and try and catch that so the thing about woodworking is if it doesn't feel right just stop what you're doing and, and come up with another way so now here what I'm doing is I'm taking a, a round bowl scraper that I made you guys have seen me use this tool before 
and uh, just getting the basic shape of the wheel. Uh, no big mystery here. I'm just using a, a series of scrapers. Here's a flat scraper I'm going to use to, to waste away a good chunk of the material. And then I'm going into a round scraper. If try just try a couple of different scrapers, see which one worked the best. Round scraper seemed to be uh, seemed to be the one that was working the best here. It's a funny thing about cedars. It's it's so it's so light and it just it cuts really really easy. And it actually, it almost cuts a little too easy because it's it's pretty easy to catch. So now I'm coming back to that round bull scraper and get you a better camera angle here. Coming back to that round bull scraper and we're just now we're now we're getting into good shaping on how I want the wheel to look. I got a flat scraper here that I'm gonna use to Flatten out the face here. This is the portion of the of the wheel that that bolt is going to sit on. So here I'm just measuring how wide it needs to be. Looks like I got it on the first try. So now what I'm doing is I'm bringing in a going to bring in my Jacob's truck chuck and a and a boring tool. Going to bore this out. To, three quarters of an inch. This way I know it's, it's true with the lathe and there won't be any wobble when I mount it on the other side. Not forcing it, just being very careful to my little lathe here when it comes to boring with these bigger bits, it it struggles a little bit, so I really gotta take it easy and just take my time and little little bits here and there, a little motion here and there, a little bit more, back it out, clear the chips, until I get all the way through. The other thing I'm trying to do is I wanna make sure I don't go so deep as to start hitting the inside of the chuck, that wouldn't be so great. So I got the hole all the way through and Just taking some measurements to see how I want everything to end up. Now it's just now it's back to more shaping. Now that I've got the the hole for the shaft drilled, more shaping to just finish up how it how it's gonna look. All I did here is I used a series of scrapers and uh, here I used a, a 3 h inch spindle gouge uh, just to make the taper on the back side of the wheel. 3-8 spindle gouge, flat scraper, round nose scraper, uh, diamond parting tool, and bowl scraper. It's the, the tools I used for this. Nice thing about cedar is it sands so fast. You, you can actually remove a pretty fair bit of material just with sandpaper. So, uh, I got it. I got it basically the shape I wanted it, and then uh, and then just use sandpaper to finish it up. Now, what you don't see here is uh, after the sanding is done, I actually 
went to fit it onto the spindle shank and uh, realized that I needed to recess the back side of the wheel to make it accept the nut on the back side, which you'll see in the next in the next set of video. But here I'm just finishing up some sanding to, to clean it up. For the most part, like I said, I just I just made a basically round wheel with round edges. I didn't do anything terribly fancy. Alright boys and girls, uh, I'm back. So what I did was uh, I removed the, the excess tenon on the back and I recessed uh, the inside just a little bit to accept the diameter of the nut with some room to place. So now when I put this on Now when I put it on, it's nice and snug and tight. So I'll put the, put the wrench on here. Give her a good snug up. There we go. And the nice thing is about it is when I got my hand on it to do whatever, usually the lathe is spinning this direction, it'll, it'll tighten the handle back up. So, uh, I had to put this thing in the back into my chuck so it left some marks. So what I'm going to do, I actually have to go to the maximum diameter of my jaws. I'm going to uh, sand those marks out. And so again, the beauty of cedar is that it sands really, really nice. And the other beauty is, is this is also spinning so I can just put this sandpaper right on here. are almost gone. are pretty much gone now. Gone enough. So now we'll uh, take a little bit of true oil. Expand you out here just a little bit. I really like this, uh, this true oil. Uh, does a really nice job of sealing things up. The cedar is so dry, it's going to soak up this, this oil like it's going out of style, but that's all right. But I won't bore you with the gory details of the finishing, so I'll... Uh, I'll finish it up and then I'll come back and I'll put a few coats on this thing and then I'll come back and finish off with you. Hey YouTube, so uh, there it is. Uh, that's all the coats I'm gonna put on. That's uh, it's two coats of oil and it's nice and smooth and I might put a couple more on as the day progresses, but uh, for the most part that's done. Uh, accomplished exactly what I wanted it to do. I, uh, I got a 
got a wheel on the outside of my headstock, which is something that this lathe didn't come with, and I guess that comes with the left paying, paying, paying barely over $100 for a lathe. Granted, it's not that big, but it, it does what I need it to do for now. New lathe is, new lathe is being worked on. At any rate, there it is. Made a wheel, pretty simple, little 20, 25 minute project. I knocked it out there. And it, uh, Gonna, it'll serve a, it'll serve a good purpose it's actually a practical project so all right i hope this is enjoyable to you uh please uh subscribe to my channel if you like what i'm doing here if you don't like what i'm doing here tell me what i can do to do differently uh have fun keep turning be safe it's only fun until somebody loses an eye so uh that's all i got for today have fun thanks